I'm here in beautiful Miami, Florida with the new Xperia 1 Mark III, and I'm gonna do the unthinkable. Instead of using my main cameras like the Alpha 7 r 4 and the new Alpha 1, I'm gonna do an entire photo shoot using this smartphone and see what I'm able to come up with. Big shout out to the fine folks at ABC Store in Miami that gave us access to their beautiful studio. If you're in the area, be sure to check them out. Before we get into the details of the shoot, I think it's important to talk about why someone would want to use a smartphone to do a portrait session like this. For me, I've heard you all loud and clear in the comments of my videos that you wanna see portrait techniques being demonstrated with camera gear that is more accessible, especially for those of you who are watching in other parts of the world. Looking at all of the different types of cameras out there, it's likely that at a bare minimum, you probably have a smartphone camera if you're watching this video. So hopefully once you see the process, you'll be inspired to get out there and take great portraits, no matter what gear it is that you have. Speaking of gear, let's talk really quickly about the Xperia 1 Mark III that I'm gonna be using and right out of the gates, I love what they've done with this device. On the back, you have a triple camera array that really covers the majority of focal lengths that I personally like to use in my portrait work, including something that you don't see often, a 70 millimeter and 105 millimeter lens. If you follow my work, you probably already know how much I love shooting in that range, as it really is a sweet spot when you're taking those close-up style of portraits. Being a Sony Alpha shooter, it's also pretty awesome to see the menu layout looks similar to what I would see in my pro camera bodies, which makes the process of adjusting settings really easy. For these shoots, I'm gonna be shooting a combination of RAW and JPEG, which gives me the flexibility of uploading a shot straight from my phone or working with those files a little bit in post-production once I get back home. Having that flexibility to capture images in RAW where I can really push the files in post-production is a must for me as a working pro, but the JPEGs that are coming out of the Xperia 1 Mark III, they look really good too. So if you just wanna share a quick shot on social media, you could totally do that. I'm gonna stick with the 70 millimeter and the 105 millimeter focal lengths for the majority of these studio shots so that I can try and replicate the type of work that I usually shoot. Using continuous eye autofocus to track my subject as they move from pose to pose was a game changer for me six years ago when I moved into shooting with Sony cameras. And it's awesome to see that that technology got handed down to these Xperia devices. For my lighting, I'll be using a Nanlite FS300 LED light that's been softened by their parabolic 120 modifier. This is the setup that I use to light my YouTube videos. I'm actually using it right now, and it really does an awesome job when you're shooting in a studio. With that being said, let's watch the behind the scenes and the resulting images. While the Xperia 1 Mark III has a phenomenal camera setup, the reality is that the ingredients needed to take great portraits go beyond just your camera. When you have that and you combine it with a great location, great lighting, and a subject who's posing and they're giving you great expressions, you really can't go wrong no matter what camera it is that you are using. I will say though that if you're looking for a new phone that gives you access to pro features so that you don't have to carry your pro cameras around all the time, then the Xperia 1 Mark III should be near the top of your list.